morning from our Volcano Bay view room. We are going there today. We have rented a cabana for the day. So we have our own private space. Yeah, I'm really excited. This is the first time I've actually ever been to a water park and what better water park to go to than Volcano Bay. And for breakfast, some Voodoo Donut. I think Becky and I are just gonna split one of these peanut butter Oreo ones. The ODB. The ODB. I got the creamsicle one for my other one and Becky got the Voodoo Guy. The Voodoo Doll. Voodoo Guy. Doll. Doll. So there is a special resort entrance for Volcano Bay. So it's just right beyond the road there. You can kind of see where the people are. This is one of the towers, and this is the resort building that we are staying in, but ours is facing off to that side. So, a very short walk. Past security, and we are in. We have to, I think, scan our ticket, though. Sun coming through. Scanned in. They checked our room keys to make sure we're resort guests, and now we're at the Wave Village Concierge to find out which cabana we have. Now we called ahead to reserve the cabana because they do often sell out for the day. There's a limited number of them, so. Hopefully, it won't be a too busy of a day here because it's a Thursday during the middle of the week. But we'll see. Either way, we get our own private space. Cabana tour. Yeah. So we are cabana number nine. So for reference, when you look right out, volcano's right up there, and the main pool is right over there. And so it's nice because the restrooms are really close to us yeah, too. Yeah, restrooms so are close to. Like it's a mile walk. So we got some lounging chairs here. Big table. <clears throat> oh, and um, our cabin cabana attendant today is Anisha, so whenever we need anything, we have like a number we just text. He got us a little welcome basket. A big cookie. Ooh. Oh, little danishes, some fruit. Little muffins, wow. A lot of stuff in there. That's nice. See, this is why we didn't eat breakfast this morning. We only had, well, we did. We had, we had, we had half, half a donut. <laughs> and there are towels here for us. A locker. A good size locker, too. Yeah. And a fridge. Already stocked with waters. It's a lot of water. And then over here, we have our own personal kind of like tablet where we're able to kind of reserve our own rides so we can pick our ride and then we have our own tabu tabu turnstile for it. We have food and beverage menu and a map, trash can, a nice little lounger here. And there is another cabana right next door. But there are uh, curtains that you can have a little bit more privacy. Yeah. Overall, this is Marcus's first water park experience and he gets a cabana. Okay, cabana. <laughs> I will be spoiled for the rest of my life for water parks. I feel like once you cabana, you, you, you don't go back. You don't go back. Don't go back. Reserve our spot in line for a ride. So I was just going to show you guys how we did that real quick. So you go to pick a ride. <laughs> Come on. 
and the person who brought us over to our cabana told us that Krakatau was going to be the busiest attraction today. So that's what we reserved. And for whatever reason, I can't scroll down. <laughs> but when you get to the ride that you want to make a reservation for, you just hit select, and then you tap your tapu tapu to the little volcano here, and then it's put onto your tapu tapu. So when we did it, it said it was 20 minutes. It's now down to 10 minutes. I did want to take a look at the food. Okay, so I finally got a menu up. You have to push very firmly on the screen. Um, but it gives you an idea of what items are available. She said there are no prices on it today because they are adjusting the prices. So we came on the right day. Everything got more expensive starting today. So... And then once you know what you want, um, our server gave us a number to text and when we're ready we just let her know we'd like to order. She comes, takes care of it, and then brings it back to us. So we just got back to our cabana. We did a bunch of rides. We did Krakatau, we did the Taniwa tubes both sides, which is a two-person tube. And we also did Makapuihi, which is a, well, like, up to five or six? Yeah, there's, I think, good five people on the tube. But, yeah, they're very, very fun. Both sides of yeah. that. Yeah, so now we're back. It's about 11.40. We're going to look into ordering some lunch. So we'll show you guys a closer look at the menu. So unfortunately, Volcano Bay does not allow GoPros on most of the slides. I think Tiny Wet Tubes may be the only attraction that I can bring the GoPro on. I have not asked yet, but I will, because I definitely want to at least have some ride POV footage uh, in this day. But we'll walk around and show you a lot of the other slides, some of which we've already been on and some that we will be going on. But yeah. Very, very nice here. The, the co private cabana life is nice. Um, something else to mention, I do have a photo pass type thing. Yeah, we bought like a three day photo package. I think it was like 90 bucks. Yeah, but they do take pictures of you on some of the blue slides. I think any slide that's blue, they take a picture of you on. So with the cabana, we do get a server that will take our food orders. You do have to pay for it, but you don't have to go actually out and order it yourself and then bring it back. They'll bring it here to you, to your cabana. So here are the appetizers. They got long board pizzas, some salads, some sandwiches. And some entrees. And along with a couple of desserts. But I think we're gonna pass on these desserts because we're gonna get some Waturi Fusion, which is the specialty ice cream here. One disappointment though is that Becky was really looking forward to getting the pepperoni pretzel that they had back when she came here for pizza pretzel. Was there some pepperoni in it? Oh, okay. Pepperoni pizza pretzel. Uh, but that was like four years ago since she's been here and we have not seen it. So sorry. Gotta try something new. Okay, so our food just came. Yeah, oh, that cheese. pizza looks yeah. really good. And then we got the coconut chicken. Crusted sliders. Oh, these look good too. Some sort of slaw. Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. And Becky got a Coca Cola slush. Yeah. 
Hits the spot, hits the spot. I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I will say, I just had one french fry. The best french fries that we've had all the trip. Easy. Hands down. They're so good. The pizza is amazing too. Is it? Oh. Wait until you try the fries. Here, try fry. Try fry. There. I guess you have the volcano going on in the background. So in the bottom of our little silverware container, we have a bunch of condiments that you could use. So they got ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. Becky's taking off the slaw. I think it's me here. Of course. I guess that just means more slaw for me. Try it. Got that chicken pull. So that cheese pull, it's a chicken pull. It's good. The chicken's nice and crispy. It's hot. It's a Hawaiian roll. It's a little sweet. Do you like that better or the pizza? Do you like the pizza? Wow. Okay, we're going for the pizza first. I don't know how I'm gonna attack it, but. Hey Becky, that's a nice flower you got there. Thank you, this is my french fries. <laughs> Overall, I think the food is very, very good. The pizza reminded me of a certain Charles Entertainment cheese <laughs> brand of pizza. <laughs> but I mean, everything came out really hot. Like, it was, it was great. Now, we do have to pay for the food that we order through the server, but it's a very nice convenience of having someone just bring it right to the cabana. This place is amazing. So this is premium seating that you can pay for. It has this, there's like two seaters and there's, you can uh, have shade over them. So that's a cheaper option than the cabana. Right now though, I'm gonna go into the gift shop because I'm gonna get a couple of the Volcano Bay like water shirts because they look pretty nice. And two pins. Because definitely gotta get a pin. But just so nice walking around here. Really like they really did a great job making it feel like you're in like like Hawaii. This is really nice. So right to the left of the entrance is Waturi Marketplace. And these are the shirts that I'm going to get. They also offer UPF protection, so that's good. I get one of each. They also got a SpongeBob towel. This is a little bit of actual like inside of the gift shop. There's two sides. The other side I think has more like women's apparel. This is more men's. What a nice tumbler. If you forgot your bathing suit. Take a quick little walk around. So this is where you would enter the park from. And then the first view you see is the volcano. We're gonna go off to the left. First thing we hit is the Wartui Marketplace where we just bought a couple shirts. So then walk through this. A busy day here at Volcano Bay. Most things are just like right now or have like a 10 minute wait, which is probably just like the walk up the stairs. The only thing that has a wait is Krakatawa, which is like at 180 minutes right now. So they do use virtual lines here. So they give you a wristband called a Tapu Tapu, which is similar to like a magic band over at Disney. 
So if there are wait times, you have to go to a touch point and kind of tap to reserve your time. So if it says it's a 60 minute wait, you have to wait 60 minutes and then you can ride any time after that. These are some more cabanas. They actually have upper cabanas too that offer a great view of the volcano. So here is Kala and Tainui, which are the body slides. And when you hear that, that's a, those like drums. That's when the waves start to happen in the wave pool. Body slides. Very cool. It's a gorgeous day today though. It's a high of 82 degrees, so it is one of the cooler days of our trip. But I think that actually is better because it's gonna keep away some of the crowds that would come if it was like a 95 degree day. So these slides are oh yeah and oh no. Their body slides but they drop you. I think one's six feet above the pool and the other is eight feet. And they just drop you right there. You do have to be a good swimmer because this pool is 10 feet deep once you hit the water. So definitely make sure that you're a good swimmer before going on these slides. In the back left corner of the park, you can see Maku and Puihi. These slides can fit five people in. Big raft rides. Becky and I rode this earlier today, very fun. Let's see if we can see someone coming down. Oh, here they come. There are other restrooms and lockers back here. Very quiet area. So there are two rivers here at Volcano Bay. One is a what they call the Fast Fearless River, which is this one. I don't really see anybody on it or in it right now. I don't think anybody's coming down either. But this one moves quite fast. And then there's an, a normal lazy river that doesn't move as fast. This one they don't have tubes in, but they do, you have to wear a life vest in. Doesn't matter how good of a swimmer you are, you have to wear a life vest in this. So here are some more of the uh, body slides that they have. There's four different ones. Come zooming in. Don't see anybody, so there must be no one waiting in line for it. So this is the most popular attraction here at Volcano Bay. This is Krakatawa, which is like the aqua coaster. Very fun. Becky and I rode that this morning too. This was actually the first ride we did. Pangu Racers, that's the name of these four slides. Also in the back, they got the Tiniwa tubes, Rocky and Tonga. So there's four different slides of tubes that you can either go by yourself or with two people. So this is just the normal Lazy River. May do this later. Or just do Teawa, the Fearless River. And then there's a kid splash area over here, like an adventure area. I could show that because there's a lot of kids in there, so. Another family raft ride. 
Don't know what these are called off the top of my head. But these look very fun. We, Becky and I gotta do this after. So I just put on my new Volcano Bay water shirt. Oh, shield me from the sun. Becky's over here eating a cookie. Is the cookie good? Yeah? Good cookie. So Becky and I ordered a couple of drinks. I got a uh, virgin pina colada and Becky got a virgin strawberry daiquiri. So cheers, Becky. We also have a pizza coming. Pizza number two. This time with the pepperoni. This beauty just came. I also like how the pepperonis look crisp. I like a crisp pepperoni. Here's the volcano and the Waturi beach pool. Right now the waves are going. They have lots of chairs and shade. This is where that really big body slide lets out too. I think we're gonna go get some ice cream. Yeah, what's the refusion before it closes? I don't know what time it closes. So. Yeah, so let's go do that now. Let's do it. Now we're gonna get our Waturi Fusion, which is banana, blue raspberry, orange, and strawberry. So they're all out of Waturi Fusions. Well, we do have park to park tickets, so we can come here during the day, like tomorrow or Saturday, and get it. We'll see. If you want. It's close to our resort, so if you ever decide to like go back to the room for a bit, we can get, you can just pop over here. It's time for us to leave the cabana now. It was a great, great splurge that we did today. I don't think I can come here without a cabana now. I don't think so either. Just the fact that you could like nap in the shade, on uh, like a nice flat padded lounger. I mean, I don't think you can beat it. Getting your own tap and tap. We did crack a towel just from there. Didn't have to walk from there. Like. Backpacks full of water. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the room. Some time has passed because it is now dark outside. You can see the volcano. And we just got back from the Bay Liner Diner from, at the uh, Cabana Bay Beach Resort. And Becky got the turkey sandwich with chips. And they have a Coke Icy. So Becky got a Coke ice. Oh, I also got mini melts. Ooh, cookie dough, cookie dough ones. I Yum. used to get these all the time at City Walk when we used to come to Universal with my family when I was younger. And I got soup, loaded potato soup. While we were riding some of the slides, you have to walk up a lot of stairs, and you could see Ep you could see the Epcot ball, you could see the Four Seasons, you can see Tower of Terror, you could see the Contemporary off in the distance, which is really cool. And right over Becky's shoulder are the Happily Ever After, well, not Happily Ever After, Disney's Enchanted Enchantment fireworks going on. That's pretty cool. So not only is this a Volcano Bay room, but it's also a firework view.